Hey, it's Stace here. Um, just thought today I'd bring up some creativity tips to um, help with depression and anxiety and to help you express your true spirit. Um, so I think for the starters I would discuss with you how much art has influenced my life from healing with a brain tumour to epilepsy to um, where I'm at now with a higher spirit. Um, so as you can see behind me, this is one of my pieces of work. Um, I've spent most of my life painting and drawing and designing and um, working in the gardens and doing really creative stuff to help me get through. This is another one of my paintings I recently did of a boat. Um, and I basically, all it comes down to is just finding time to give it back to me. Um, so my story is back in 2015, after I had my near-death experience, um, I got diagnosed with a brain tumour. It was called a ran thirks cleft cyst in the pituitary gland. It was 7 centimetres long um, in, in expansion. And I went through CT scans, EEGs, MRIs, and was constantly in and out of the hospital. So when I got diagnosed with a brain tumour, back then of course the the fear came into place and then I made the conscious decision to not accept this and I knew that as God can say to us that we can heal we can heal ourselves we can heal others and we have the ability to do so in ourselves so going back in time um, I started to paint and design and, and um, drink plenty of water um, and with the in and out of the hospital it was actually making me feel worse so I decided to take some almost gold and I changed my behavior and my thinking patterns and so I got into the painting and did some very sacred pieces to myself some real spiritual work and I did so much prayer it was unbelievable and I knew like I knew that I was going to get better so Long story short, with a lot of prayer and a lot of help with my designing and painting and, and the love of my family and my church, I actually got through a brain tumour. So um, I ended up in hospital. I had a massive hemorrhage after um, going through all this stuff for four years of, of suffering. Um, and got <clears throat> when I went in there, I had a convulsion, which ended up being about 15, 20 minutes long. Uh, and they couldn't find out what was going on because it wasn't the usual seizures that I have. And um, they did an MRI and a scan and they said to me, your tumour's gone. Um, and by God's grace, I'm yet again still here. Um, so, you know, healing can take place if you choose to um, change your behaviour. And I just wanted to let people out there know that are suffering with cancers and tumours and issues that a lot of it comes down to ourselves, where we have blockages in our spirits. And there are techniques, which I'll show you in the next clip, about how to breathe properly and the stress that we're under to find ways of releasing that stress um, to help with depression and anxiety, especially with our young ones today that are committing suicide and things, I really want to address these things. I know that it's more frequent with the depression and anxiety and stress simply because it's, we're more aware of it. However, we haven't had any ways to heal these things apart from giving you some tablets to make you say that you're okay. Um, so yeah, get back to me in the next chat. Cheers. Bye.